So this is how the A10 ended up, and I've seen a video of somebody else crashing one with a, a similar kind of setup. It, the funny thing is, I had lost rudder. Um, I don't know how, but the linkage was disconnected, and I can see it now up in there. Uh, the mechanism. I'm gonna try to fix that when I'm putting this together, because obviously that's my objective is to try to put this mess back together. Uh, but uh, you. Uh, I fly this so much and I was so comfortable with my little landings and I am terrible I'm like a beginner pilot at best right um, and uh, I had messed this up way back when I first got it that's why I had some taping and stuff going on when I did the front repair because I tried to hand launch and I don't know that didn't go well so anywho taking off and landing on the runway has been perfect for me this thing is perfect docile everything I want but tried to do a barrel roll at too low altitude and yeah this is what i ended up with so i couldn't get it on tape but i do have the after effect now i'm gonna do the repair and who knows what's gonna look like in the end but at least it'll hopefully still fly and uh i'll kind of cover document this i guess show you how i do it i'm no expert at this just a guy so i got this thing pried apart and this little lever here is your rudder and it just sticks through that hole in that servo arm. No wonder I lost rudder. This this is ridiculous. I, I probably could have just cut it open. I didn't know, realize how easy it would have been. So now I do know. And putting it back together, I'm going to put like the smallest dabs of CA on there. So basically, this thing, you could probably even do it from the bottom by just pulling down on this. Yep. So I could have probably got it back. I just didn't know the process. So that's that. If you ever had the same trouble, you know what to do. And of course, there are your two servos for elevator and rudder. And the, the one for rudder goes all the way to the front for the front wheel. Uh, just a little update. I got this top part off first. Did all the repairs back this area. Uh, you can see that's kind of flexing a little bit right there so i kind of got to get back to that i just got it kind of where it would would stay but yeah i'm gonna go back and hit that a little better because i'm i'm gonna just kind of straighten everything before i put the top on just trying to get it one piece at a time then i went on to this area got these little pieces and this is a pretty in-depth kind of hard crash most people would have just said ah it's trash and probably threw the whole thing away but i wouldn't if i have took the this flight controller which I'm very intrigued with because it kind of has everything built into one and if you're going to do another type of model this would be cool to just pop in and it's got like not standard servo leads but I mean you could adapt those to any servo and then just make it work basically if you're that guy which I am um, so now I've, I've, I started on this side got this piece all of this was totally detached by the way got that set up again and uh, just one piece at a time just kind of giving you a little update on progress in the middle of the build or rebuild <laughs> so all right i've got it pretty close but i just wanted to show you this particular section i'll zoom out later so this is a bad joint that that was a crash i just put some ca in there some phone safe ca so you can i don't know if you can see that but like i'm, I'm massaging the, this piece to when I leave it out there's gonna be a, a, a uneven gap there so I'm gonna massage this piece in and then I already got C in the whole CA in the whole gap and I got this piece satisfied where I want it so I'm gonna take this ever so slightest amount of CA kicker and the reason why I just do the smallest little area because the rest of this can dry like in a full strength type type deal and I, I I feel like I, I need to research it myself to know the exact what's in nuts on this but CA is not as strong when you kick it as it is full strength so uh, and I might just kick I don't see much CA sticking out the, the gaps there so I might just get a little yeah I like to blow it off when I uh, put it on because it just looks like it just makes it dry faster All right, and then as soon as you see it dry, you can see the shine in this go away, and then you know it's dry. So, 
in a situation like this, I got it in that gap really good, and like I can feel some rigidity, rigidity um, from the from the, the model. Like at this point, zoom out, you can see it. I, I've almost got it back together, but I mean, I wanted to put more documentation to it for this video, but it, it really wasn't anything but like, as you can see right there, just a puzzle, just connecting the pieces together, and this top half. It's really a good design that E-Flight did. When I first crashed this, I crashed it in the front. It was like my first novice days of flying, and I had flown the uh, the Warbirds and stuff, so I was pretty confident to get this out there, and I tried to hand launch it myself because there wasn't a runway. This is not a best bird for a hand launch, by the way, but what I know now, I could probably hand launch it all day, but I wasn't full throttle. It was blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I one flight, hand launch, fine, no problem. Somebody else launched it for me. Then when I tried to launch it myself, just the novice nature of it all, I smashed this front pretty bad. So in the fixing it, instead of like the way they designed this is this top half and this bottom half is taped together. So I ended up gluing all this front stuff all together like in inside of here, which makes it kind of solid and rigid in one piece. And I've wrecked it a bunch of times, so maybe the rigidity of it makes it not wreck too bad now. But this crash was like pretty heavy, you know, straight into concrete, boom like tore up the gun and everything because it was a straight direct hit um so in that event you know I, I really can't go back from it i really would like to get another one because i love the way this flies so much that compared to all the birds i got i got about 15 or 20 birds at this point this is probably one of my favorite now the bigger one i'm trying to work my way to fly it's on my wall right there i'm looking at it uh and uh, i want to get that thing in the air but yeah this one here gets definitely gets my excitement level up compared to anything else i fly so I definitely want to fix it. I'm really thinking about getting a second one just because I like this one so much. And, you know, of course, the ease to fly and blah, blah, blah. So once I get that kind of joint done and get a little CA in it, what I end up doing just for rigidity is, and it's going to be hard to do it on camera because I can't, but I just run some CA down in the gap, and I can't show you at all, but along this seam on the inside, and then I may or may not kick it. If it's, you know, really runny, I'll kick it just to stop it from running all over the place because I don't want it to go places I don't want it to go. And uh, I just used, like, they had a factory piece of tape on this side. So when I, it's solid up here in the front. And then back to about right here, it kind of separates again where the factory kind of thing where you can separate the two halves, which is an awesome design. I wish I would have left that alone because I had an issue where I lost my tail rudder and now that I've opened it I kind of see that it's not a big deal because it's, it's like just in a slot on the servo so I could always fix that now that I know about it but I hadn't opened it yet so I didn't know what was in there so that's the story on that and then like you see this piece of tape holds it together and then I got I just ended up using this shiny tape because it's underneath the motors and blah 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 but this is going to be a beater bird anyway so it doesn't matter what kind of tape but the tape and it it really gets with the regular old scotch tape or whatever it, it gets rigid you know um enough that i can feel like it'll fly with no issue and then if i need to take it apart it's just a, a exacto knife away so that's basically what i want to cover on this little jump in segment of this video um and i'll just probably show you the finished product when i do get done not when i had the two halves separated i did power it up everything works fine gyro work and blah 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 so i'm Probably going to be ready to fly right away.